What's going on? So, I have another issue. So as you guys know, I painted this and I had done a couple paints and I told you that the paint was acting up and it was like peeling and stuff. Well, I had finally gotten it so it was okay, it wasn't great, but I was still gonna use it. I went today to put a one, just one layer of clear coat on this and I sprayed it on very lightly because it seemed like when I was pouring it on thicker that I was gonna have more issues. So, did a very light coat of clear coat on here and the entire thing is just, it started bubbling and peeling and it's just pretty terrible now. So, that leads me to what's going on here. What I have bought, first of all, I gotta get that old paint off. So I got some stripper, I got a respirator because stripper and self-etching paint are not very good. Usually I don't really, but why not? They were like three bucks at Home Depot, so I just got a set. After I do the stripping, I got a afterwash, which is supposed to remove the paint stripper itself because it leaves like a residue, I guess. And then I got this. This is Rust-Oleum self-etching primer. I don't know, it's supposed to be pretty good for painting aluminum. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna strip it, clean it off. I'm probably gonna sand it down again just to make sure that it's pretty coarse material before I put the primer on there. I think I'm gonna put two, three, four, coats of primer on there, I'm not really sure yet. This says that it adheres better when you use it in 70 degree weather, so it's a little cold out right now. My garage is currently at 60. So we're gonna get the uh, heater going pretty heavy and then see if we can get the temperature to rise up in here. And then of course, uh, this is what I've already been using. It's just a Rust-Oleum uh, gloss enamel. This one's probably almost empty, so I got another one just in case. Oh, and I got this brush. Cool. All right, so I'm gonna get to doing this and then uh, we'll get back to you. So I just wanna say real quick, this may seem like a little bit of an odd video for me to be doing. I inadvertently made this video because I was trying to throw it all together, but it just didn't seem like it fit right. So I figured there's probably a lot of people out there who have a question, how do you paint aluminum? Because as you know, if you've ever tried to paint aluminum, it's not the easiest thing to get the paint to stick to the aluminum itself. So I thought I'd take this time to just explain to you a little bit more in detail what is going on here. So I don't really know all the technical details about why paint doesn't really stick to aluminum when it sticks to other kinds of materials like steel and stuff like that. Maybe one of you guys can tell me, educate us a little bit more. But what I do know is that what I was doing was not working correctly. But just like you guys are using this YouTube video to find out, that's exactly what I did. There's plenty of YouTube videos out there, but I figured I've already shot the film, I might as well go ahead and make the video. So obviously you guys have seen the, the beginning of this video where the paint wasn't really that great. I didn't really use any primer when I went and painted this tray in the first place. So as you can see, the more layers I put on, the thicker the paint got, the less it was actually sticking to the aluminum itself. And it actually started to bubble up. It wasn't, it just wasn't working out. I could pretty much just peel it off. It was like almost like a plasti dip where you could just peel the paint off the aluminum. But anyway, so I did a little research like you guys are doing right now and I found out you have to use a special kind of primer. In this case, I'm using what's called a self etching primer. There's a bunch of different chemicals in this self etching primer and it actually adheres itself to the aluminum. By putting a primer layer on there, you're basically just painting over the primer. You're not actually painting onto the aluminum, you're painting the primer now. So after you get that primer on there, I put about four coats on myself. If you wanna do more or less, that's, I'm sure it'll be fine. Probably two coats would, would be sufficient enough. Basically what I did is I put four coats of primer on here and then after that I let it dry for an hour because you're supposed to let it cure. After that I put on my paint and you guys can put on whatever kind of paint you want. I happen to use what's called an OD green. If you guys are familiar with any kind of old school camouflage, everything old school camouflage used to be an OD green. It's also known as army green. I had some cans left over so I decided to use that. I think that the OD green looks a lot better than that gloss enamel black paint that I was using. So I put about three coats of that OD green paint on there and then after that I ended up putting I think two coats of the clear coat over it. It still gives you kind of a shiny look but it's not the same as when you put a gloss paint on there. I know it sounds weird and it probably looks the same to you guys but I, I can't stand glossy colors. I, I'm a flat kind of person. I like matte colors. So anyway that's what I did. So guys as I record this video right now I am at 191 subscribers which means I'm almost at 200. I thank you guys so much for being supportive of me and uh, hitting that subscribe button. It really helps me out and it really keeps me going forward with these videos. So what I'm thinking is if we hit 200 subscribers by the time my next video pops up we should do a giveaway. So if you guys enjoy this video and you want to see a giveaway happen make sure you go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and comment down below what you think we should give away. Anyway thank you guys for watching. Hopefully we'll try to get on the water soon and get some fishing videos done and uh, I'm just trying to push this, this boat right now so we can get it working for springtime fishing. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you haven't already make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you like this video go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and if you have any comments for me 
please leave those down in the comment section below. Thank you guys very much. I'll see you guys next time.